In today's video, I'll be giving you one reason how every team won't win the Super Bowl this season. Two weeks ago, I gave you a reason how every team could win the Super Bowl, so we're going to do the exact opposite today. Remember, these are all opinion-based, as always, so don't rip me apart. Pretty please. But anyways, enjoy the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, Go Hawks! <laughs> Alright, just like the last one, we're going to be doing it tier list style, and the one tier is SB Losers, Super Bowl Losers. We have all the teams mixed up, so it's not in order from team name to how it normally is for the standard tier list. So we're going to start with everyone's favorite team, the Dallas Cowboys. Um, by not making it past the first round or the second round in the playoffs, which they seem to never be able to do anymore. Pretty self-explanatory. Now the Panthers. If Bryce Young doesn't work again, Dave Canales is not a good head coach, and their defense folds apart without Brian Burns being there, and all their draft picks don't pan out at all. Now the Vikings. Their quarterback room becomes one of the worst. Their defense remains terrible. And Jay Jettas doesn't play up to that contract he just signed. Broncos. Bo Nix or Zach Wilson. No matter who's the quarterback. They ain't leading you to really anything. They're going to get smacked around all year. You're not so good offense for them to work with. Bills. The loss of Stefan Diggs is bigger than they think it is. And their defense sucks after the loss of Tredavious White, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer, all those people. Ravens, if Derrick Henry doesn't work and they run the ball six times in the AFC Championship again. Titans, the Will Levis hype plummets. Will Levis doesn't play as good as people think he will this year, especially with that cannon of his. Green Bay Packers. Jordan Love hits the sophomore slump. I'm calling it that because I feel like this was really his rookie year. And all of his receivers fold and play like absolute brain dead morons. Chargers. Quentin Johnson proves again why he is a bust. And the rest of your receivers don't do anything. And you run the ball 40 times a game with Greg Roman as your OC. Great hire. Lions. Your defense folds in the NFC Championship again, and Dan Campbell plays risky ball once again. Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield plays like 2021 and 2022 Baker Mayfield. Raiders. Either Minshew or O'Connell, whoever's the starter, they play like Johnny Manziel in the NFL. Dolphins. The second they play either team above 500 or not in 70 degree weather, that's it. Especially in the playoffs. Seahawks. Their new head coach Mike McDonald proves once again why hiring defensive minds as head coach is not a smart move. Commanders. They prove why they probably should have got someone else than Dan Quinn to be their head coach. And Jaden Daniels turns into Robert Griffin post-injury. Patriots. Gerard Mayo fails as a head coach. Drake May plays like a brain-dead rookie, like most do. And his supporting cast doesn't do anything, which they probably won't. Colts. Anthony Richardson gets injured again, and you don't have Gardner Minshew to help bail you guys out. Almost. Falcons. Kirk Cousins plays horribly, and when you bench him, Michael Penix also plays horribly. B. John Robinson, Drake London, Kyle Pitts still don't get used, and their defense allows 600 yards a game. Chicago Bears. It's the Bears. Bengals. Joe Burrow gets injured again. Jamar Chase doesn't play like how he should. T. Higgins gets traded midseason. 
your defense plays worse than it did last year. Browns. Deshaun Watson once again does not live up to that $230 million fully guaranteed contract. Nick Chubb doesn't play at 100%. Miles Garrett becomes Stefan Diggs after his the first half of their season last year. Saints. Derek Carr. 49ers. Kyle Shanahan when it comes to holding Super Bowl leads. Kansas City Chiefs. Mahomes gets injured. Andy Reid retires midseason for some reason. Travis Kelsey uh, divorces Taylor Swift. Yes, they're not married yet, but divorces Taylor Swift. Which, that would actually be good. And their defense folds like a lawn chair. Giants. Daniel Jones. Arizona Cardinals. Their lack of literally everything. And their division, which they're finishing fourth in once again. Jets. Even with the healthy Aaron Rodgers and good supporting cast around him, the MetLife Turf. And it's also the Jets. Philadelphia Eagles. The Tush Push can't score you guys points anymore. Texans. CJ Stroud hits the sophomore slump. Stefan Diggs, Tank Dell, Nico Collins becomes the most overhyped and worthless receiving core. Will Anderson hits the sophomore slump, and D'Amico Ryans turns into Matt Eberflus. Pittsburgh Steelers. Russell Wilson does not cook, and Justin Fields, there's reports of him being horrible in OTAs, so there's that for you. TJ Watt spontaneously combusts, and Mike Tomlin implodes like the Titan sub. Jaguars. Your new highest paid quarterback in the NFL, tied at least becomes worse than Tim Couch could ever imagine. Los Angeles Rams. Matt Stafford shows why he is a, like what, 35, 36 year old quarterback. The loss of Aaron Donald is that bad. Cooper Cup just turns into an old man. Puka Nakua hits the sophomore slump and doesn't produce as much. And Kyron Williams doesn't play like a 1200 yard rusher Kyron Williams last season. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And turn the notification bell on so you'll never miss an upload. I will see you in the next video. Go Hawks!